morning everybody uh, different starting point today uh, a lot of you will know where I am actually and the number plate uh, on the car it's not my car unfortunately guys uh, might well give it away uh, S8VOY uh, why would the number plate say that? because I'm at the Savoy why I'm at the Savoy well guys I mean a lot of you did ask me uh, in the comments I noticed this morning uh, how it went yesterday uh, a gentleman never tells all I will say, but let's just say one thing. It was absolutely soaking wet. I was shocked, completely drenched, absolutely soaked. Um, and that's why I decided not to stay on the street last night because yeah, it was raining really, really heavily. Uh, so I thought, you know what? Instead of getting wet, I will go inside and keep warm and dry and have some food. Uh, but I didn't really step this away. Uh, I just got, <laughs> just got off the bus at the wrong stop. Anyway, folks, uh, that leads us to the Strand. Yes, it does. It leads us to the lovely Strand. Uh, the Savoy is actually quite famous for, I mean, many things, but these rather unusual little, uh, what's that supposed to be? I mean, a cat, I guess. I have no idea. Anyway, uh, famous for his little sculptures, uh, Christmas sculptures. I have no idea if it's real or just some plastic that they bought. Um, majority of stuff in London, Christmas decoration wise, is pretty plasticky to be honest. Uh, so it wouldn't surprise me uh, if they saved a few quid and went plastic as well. Plastic, fantastic. So we're walking, uh, I mean, we're actually walking parallel, would you believe, to Covent Garden. It's over there, that's Southampton Street. Uh, that leads directly up into Covent Garden. You can probably just see Covent Garden Market. Just beyond that blue awning at the top, that's Covent Garden Market. Uh, just one spot of Covent Garden Market. This, uh, this little street is quite an interesting one, um, scene of many shots in films and it's funny because this reminds me massively of some of the shots uh, up high in Paris. You go up into Montmartre, back of Sacre Coeur, you get a lot of shots like this, uh, okay, over Paris. There aren't so many in London from a high vantage point. This is, I mean, this is kind of the only one I remember well because uh, I walked past it so many times before. Uh, we don't have those really steep uh, inclines anywhere in London. Uh, unless, of course, you decide to slide down the edge of the, uh, the shard. Okay, it's a tiny bit breezy. I'm hoping that isn't going to destroy this morning's audio. I will, however, uh, try and speak up somewhat. We're not very far from horse guards. Uh, bizarre as it might sound, um, not that a lot of, you know, Savoy dwelling rich people would necessarily choose to go to horse guards, but. It's less than a 10 minute walk, I would think, depending always on how fast you walk. Corporate HQ, I can't remember if that's Shell, BP, whatever, something like that. Uh, and the usual London car park of traffic on a Monday morning. It actually boggles my mind where anyone, other than taxi drivers or delivery drivers, actively chooses, buses of course, to drive anywhere near central London. Well, wow, that's an interesting little selection of. Uh, early heart disease very impressive exceedingly impressive yeah because the you know look I mean it takes ages to get anywhere if uh, if you're driving but then again I guess a lot of people don't have a choice they are stuck walking this way along the strand uh, behind me is well, ultimately free fleet free I can't even speak free I was gonna say free feet <laughs> Fleet Street, that one's a real tongue twister. Yes, Fleet Street. Uh, classically the home of British journalism, not anymore. They pretty much all left, few publishers still in that area. Uh, yeah, Fleet Street, Royal Courts of Justice, Inns of Court, Legal World is behind me the other way. But as usual everybody, <coughs> we're heading to the political world in front of me. Yeah, political world right in front. A lot of people look at me like I'm the, uh, what do you call it? the Google car that drives around and they have sometimes, on smaller streets, they have those people that walk around with a backpack uh, and film for Google Maps. People look at me like, eh? is this guy doing Google Maps or something? I'm not doing Google Maps, I can confirm it, folks. I don't actually work for Google and this isn't an actual Google Maps walk that I'm going to hijack and copy uh, and use for my YouTube channel. Okay, next stop, uh, just on my left, in front, 
It's Covent. It's Covent Garden. It's Charing Cross. Sorry, guys. Covent Garden's behind me. It's Charing Cross coming up shortly. There's the traffic is still thick. I mean, it was raining last night and it was very unpleasant and it was cold, but the correlation between wet weather and heavy traffic is a curious one in London. The second there's a bit of moisture in the air, boom. Nobody wants to be out. Jump in a taxi, jump in uh, an Uber, jump on a bus. And worst case, unless of course you need to cover a large distance quickly, jump on the tube. Okay, so Charing Cross Station is to my left. Actually, I think the Clermont might have their Christmas tree up as well. Have a quick look, walking past it anyway. Oh, they have. I mean, it's the same tree that they've had up every year since 1974, I think, so not really a big deal. Yeah, I mean, it's not exactly, you know, one of London's most notable Christmas trees. I can tell you that, as you can already see anyway for yourself. I guess it looks more impressive after dark because it doesn't look very impressive uh, during the daytime, I can tell you that. I don't worry folks, we're not going to get on a train and go to the seaside either. It's actually relatively quiet here for a Monday morning at Charing Cross. That said, we're way past the rush hour. This kind of gives them more of an idea of uh, the area around horse cars, that very small intimate space. Uh, in which we spend so much of our time because it's full of drama and intrigue uh, and occasional surprises but the area around it is just I mean it's, it's full on constantly you know, this is peak uh, peak central London people in so many different ways okay we're still in the Strand it's called the Strand the street is actually just called Strand it sounds odd we're on Strand doesn't sound right uh, and in front, of course, is Trafalgar Square. Nelson's column up there, as you can see. I thought being a teeny-weeny bit uh, early this morning, being a little bit premature, it would be better to, and I don't like to be premature, it would be better to uh, <coughs> include a bit of scenery uh, instead of wasting my time oh, drinking go, another please. overly sugared coffee. Happy people on the bus. How thoroughly lovely this morning. It is quite grim actually though, isn't it, weather-wise? You can see why there's a lot of long faces. So it's Monday, I hate Mondays. Well folks, guess what? In a couple of weeks' time we're going to be thinking, oh my god, I used to love those Mondays when Horse Cars was actually open. Yep, just over a week and boom, it won't be open anymore. The uh, temporary shutdown is imminent. Okay, that's uh, obviously Trafalgar Square, folks. Fountains are on. They've got a Christmas market. I mean, it's kind of modest and super overpriced. Uh, to give you an idea, I think some churros are like 10 quid or something. It's completely ridiculous. Uh, so not for me, alas. Uh, Christmas fair looks far more impressive after dark, obviously, but it is open even now. Okay. We continue. Okay, past my favourite meal deal selling shop over here on the corner. Uh, that's right, Tesco's. But no, I'm not going in because I haven't got enough hands to hold the camera, pick up my food, pay for it, and pack it in my bag all at the same time. Next stop, we're getting one over. Oh, the first group of uh, arrived from uh, Normandy or Dieppe or uh, somewhere else in uh, the France, I think. Uh, yes, uh, I think they will add uh, to uh, the guard of the horse. Which is where we're going. There's still got these super heavy barriers on the, on the floor here. I dare say there'll be a semi-permanent fixture whilst there's so much going on in terms of protests. I was about to cross over, but then uh, I thought it's probably be a better idea not to die just yet. So let me wait for a gap in the traffic. Okay, there it is. Bada boom. Right, we're over into the uh, the usual spot. Isn't it bizarre how we can go from um, you know, the relative tranquility of the Savoy? Um, great hotel, not one of my personal favourites, but it is a great hotel. 
uh, very much a London landmark. That relative tranquility and, and quiet spot. Plus, if you're a VIP and you stay at the Savoy, you get the use of that uh, complimentary use. Well, it's not really complimentary if you're paying thousands of pounds, I guess, for a suite uh, of that glorious S8 VOY chauffeured Rolls Royce. That said, the majority of Lanesborough, Claridge's, Peninsula, the majority of hotels uh, it used to be something of a perk, you know, to be able to to call on the hotel chauffeur so that one could be ferried around the city at one's pleasure. Uh, but now it's pretty much uh, pretty much de rigueur at the upper end of the, the hotel scene. I dare say, I haven't seen it yet, but I dare say Raffles have got their own uh, chauffeur as well. I'll keep a firm eye out this morning for any ladies wearing pink bobble hats uh, and looking suspiciously like they want to pick my pockets. Oh, I've just noticed what's happened, actually. Uh, the road has been closed one way. I'm wondering, like, why are all of these buses and other vehicles uh, trying to cross over? So they've closed the road. That's interesting. I don't know how far the closure goes, but that's uh, a bit unfortunate for people that are on buses and stuff. That really mucks it up. Yeah, there's a diversion in place. Okay, great. So I could just stroll along the middle of the road then. Damn, that is going to take ages. They're pushing all the traffic onto Whitehall Place, which obviously will go down toward the embankment. Look, it's chocker already. It'd be super depressing if you're a commuter having to get to work. No, look. And they're all stuck. This lady's been let off the bus. Drive a little off. She's like this. I'm not waiting. I need to get to work. I'm a heart surgeon. My patient's on the table. Seems quite arbitrary, but I guess there's a reason for it. Oh, uh, finally, guys, I see. Uh, the, as the French people would call it, uh, the God of uh, the King. <laughs> Here is uh, the God of the King. Yes, they, they are guarding uh, the palace. The palais. Uh, which horse? Hmm, I don't remember. I didn't know the other one though. We're good. Wait, <laughs> straight over. Uh, Northumberland, guys, is out. Not for much longer though. Why? Because really? our lovely Blues and Royals troopers waiting for the fire engine to uh, to go by and rescue a cat from a tree in Downing Street. Uh, Northumberland, yeah, Blues and Royals are leaving this morning. Now I'm here and uh, looking up at the clock. It's actually. 20 to 11, uh, which I think is rather good. Why? Because even though we're early, uh, we're not crazy premature. Anyway, Northumberland's in a good mood. Look, the air is fresh and crisp. All the dirt and dust on the weekend is glued to the ground uh, after it rained. Uh, I dare say the blues are very happy that shortly they'll be going back to barracks. Folks, for any of you that are worrying, um, the two fellows that we're looking at here and on this side they haven't been there all night okay and nor do they put out waxwork figures of the guards overnight behind lock gates so that the tourists think that they stand there all the time they don't stand there all night i know so many people thought that it was uh, a 24 hour seven day a week thing it's really not they are done winter hours at 4 p.m yeah they don't actually do those extra two hours like they do in the summer uh, after the boxmen are finished and I dare say they're probably happy about that because if you remember thinking back uh, I was here until much much later um, not all the time but often in those glory closing days of the summer uh, now sadly past and to be honest I haven't been at one for a couple of weeks but I would think that the end of day of four o'clock inspection is probably done under very close to darkness actually uh, I will make sure that I get either the very last four o'clock um, or one of the very last four o'clocks before the closure happens uh, I mentioned that happens next week uh, a date to be confirmed that's a crunchy London seems very 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 tourist part 
very quiet this morning. It won't stay like that, definitely not. Uh, bear in mind, we are still early, as I mentioned. However, if there is a guard change at the palace this morning. It will not be a wet mount unless it absolutely pours uh, and the forecast is not for it to pour. Uh, the guy that was dealing with the drains here seems to have actually sorted it. It seems to me to be to be done. Yeah, back to normal though. Good job that man. Pretty much. I mean, it's mildly flooded, but nothing as bad as it was before. Now, the thing is, I would obviously prefer uh, to capture the departure of the blues. So I think we'll go back to the front, hope it stays quiet, and I can run back and forwards. Typically, Monday mornings are fairly, uh, fairly muted, especially if it's uh, a rather sad and grey morning, which is what, at the moment, we've got a sad and grey morning. It's so annoying though to be uh, somebody that they got on the bus in South London, came across the river, expecting to be at work in 15 minutes and you get stuck in this massive jam. It's going to be 30 minutes, 40 minutes, maybe even an hour for people that are stuck here to be able to get onto Whitehall Place around the corner. That is super unfortunate. So they are being sensible and they're taking pictures of the King's Guard. Look. Look, they're like, whoa. It's the best place ever to get stuck in the whole of the world. And you know what? She's right. It is. Because where else, if you get stuck on a bus, can you point your phone out of the window and suddenly realise that, but um, you've got a view like this. The ultimate tourist photo, eh? Speaking of which... I have no idea how many groups are going to turn up this morning, but uh, there'll definitely be some. Okay, the, uh, the trooper's taking the horse way back, I'm not sure why. I definitely remember to put deodorant on this morning, guys, so it's not me, I promise. I think it's because uh, there are a lot of small kids coming and he doesn't want them to get... To, to be or to get intimidated by the horse. Yeah, the teacher's sort of holding on to all of them. How thoughtful is that, eh? Look, they're doing some kind of, I don't know what it is, outing. It's a bit of an English school, English school kids. So that's why he's pulled the horse back. Very considerate. Plus, actually, they wouldn't be able to get the picture with all of the kids in if the horse were out in the middle of the street because the teacher couldn't get back far enough. So, I think once the kids leave in a minute, the horse will come back out. Okay, that's the 45 minute bell. Now we might, um, but then again, we might not get the trooper coming out. Obviously, as I mentioned before, folks, in the last two days, uh, that trooper has developed his own set of rules, which is great. And these rules are uh, my way or the highway. So look, the bell rang, but he's just like, you know what? The bell, I'll move on, I feel like it. And I can't, I'm, I'm the same, guys. You know, sometimes my alarm goes off, there's a bell ringing in my head next to my bed, and I'm like, you know what? Nah. I can't be bothered. So I understand uh, I understand his approach to life. <laughs> Even this horse is like, you know what? The bell is gonna move me either. But we'll see it will. Yep, sorry chap, I know, I know. Yep, it's not good news. I understand, Mondays are hard. Yep, see look, he definitely understands what I'm talking about, don't you? Not if you do. See, I told you guys, I knew the horses could understand what I was talking about. I'm shocked, really shocked. But anyway, yeah, there you are, you have video evidentiary proof. That, in fact, is burden of proof enough, even for an English court. I asked him to nod, he nodded. Horse is playing with a bit. He's a real bit player, this one. Ah. Bear in mind that most kids at schools in uh, in London uh, or the surrounding counties would all need ordinary not have a lot of exposure uh, to animals. Maybe a cat or a pet hamster, but of this magnitude, this massive horse, no chance. Absolutely no chance at all. So of course for them it's like, whoa, look. Who's that on the horse? 
kind of cute though. I wish I were that young and I had, uh, had my whole life in front of me as well. But hey, not going to happen. All right, just over 10 minutes. Um, but way before that, the blues will leave. Uh, I'm going to keep an eye on the chain, that magic chain in the middle. Why? Because until that goes down, oh, we've got some troopers that are already mounted, folks. I spy at least three that are mounted at the back of the yard. I don't like to zoom in too much, but there we are, quick mount look, see? They're mounted, the rest are getting ready. So I think five, six minutes, something like that, uh, they will head out. If it's really quiet at the back this morning and it's possible to run back and forward through the tunnel, uh, I will go to the back uh, and maybe do a little sort of 360 around the inspection. I thought the trooper was about to take the train down and stomping it's really weeny but but he will take the train down before the blues come out, obviously. Never yet had uh, the unfortunate incidents of the trooper forgetting to take down the train and the horses trying to ride out with the train still up. Uh, that would be a nightmare, especially if the horses didn't realize that the train was there. But I don't know if that's actually ever happened. The last busker, he'll, he'll know. Um, I hope it will never happen, but we've seen every other you know, peculiar circumstance that we thought, nah, that won't happen. And then it did. Yeah, it's surprising. Anyway, I think that we're going to be lucky in the sense that it almost certainly will not rain again this morning. Okay, the forecast for it is for it to be drizzly, but I looked out the window and thought, hold on, do I wear a heavy raincoat and stuff? No. Uh, and I'm glad. It's more important to stay warm uh, than to stay dry, get soaked, that's it, forget about warmth. Quite a lot of people at this end actually this morning. Now, for some reason, they all look delighted, but they're not delighted enough to go right up to the horse, probably because the horse is so big. Oh, wait. Let me not, let me not destroy their, uh, their pictures by walking in front of them. Yeah, huge, uh, huge Chinese group. Who uh, appear to be, uh, okay, who appear to be absolutely fascinated, uh, as am I, by this beautiful horse. Uh, it's almost like uh, popular, popular place in, in the world where everybody sort of stops and like, whoa, putting out the cameras because they have to get a picture of it. The entire piece of one that's close to mine. But remarkably, not one single person uh, has actually even attempted to approach the horse. Right, the police are moving. Chain still hasn't gone down there, and I won't move until it does. They're starting to fan out. Through the tunnel, that means uh, the departure of the first blues is imminent. Oh wow, like in that orange leather coat and the matching shoes. Very fashionable. Okay, the chain is down. Uh, I just noticed actually, who took the chain down? Our very stylish, very stylish uh, stableman. They dropped the chain, and the second that I'm thinking they're not going to ride out yet, they do. Look at this. Ah, I wasn't in my favourite spot, but I wasn't a million miles off. Anyway, here they go. But um. That was done real quick this morning. The scoundrel. He did that real fast. Changed straight down, no messing about with the gate, and they're out. That was instant. They're instantly surprising. Okay, let's dash through quick. It really is wonderfully empty at the back. Uh, it's so empty at the back that what I'm going to do uh, is try and get right around to the other side and actually capture for uh, the first time in a while the lifeguards riding onto the parade ground it's been a hell of a long time since uh, I was here early enough for that it's not, I can see already there's no trump to the horse uh, it's not a long guard I mean, it's, it's very rare to get a long guard on a Monday so here they are, look 
c'est super. We get to see the beautiful Clippy Coffee uh, police horses first, uh, and then the lifeguards. I don't think actually in any recent time I've been even close uh, to them riding in. I need to be careful though because I can't actually remember the right spot. It's the uh, police armed response vehicle at the front. They're probably already eyeballing me even uh, at this distance. Uh, and the two police outriders. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve uh, lifeguards. Or so it seems from this distance. I thought it would be thirteen. Three. Yeah, it's, it's uh, yeah, twelve. Okay, I'll make sure I don't get super close to the police horses, but that I do get close enough uh, so that we can potentially identify individual lifeguard horses. It's still really hard to know exactly where to uh, <laughs> where to stand. They could, if they wanted to, immediately decide, you know what, we're going to go over that way a little bit. Okay, I think I'm still good. Walk over a teeny bit more. Too far, yeah? Okay. Oh, I am a teeny weeny bit too far over. Okay. See, I wasn't sure. There we go. That's better. You can still catch them super clearly, though. Oh, that's, I think, wait, is that Titan? No, I can't remember if that's Titan, actually, at the front. That massive cloppy horse. No, it's not. It's not. Actually, wait, yeah, it is. It is, it is, it is. Oh, he's eyeballing me. Yes, look. See how big Titan is, guys, compared to the rest of them. I mean, they're all large, but Titan is an absolute mammoth. Wow, a lot of beauties there, eh? Uh, and then the final beauty, the Staple Grey at the back. Look at this. Wow. That one's a top beauty as well. Okay, I didn't get told off. I just got <laughs> lightly asked to step back a teeny bit. And you know what? Fair's fair. It's a bit of an optical illusion when they come across knowing how close one can get uh, or not, as it were. And two more beauties there, look at that. Those three amazing police horses. His massive titan, folks, uh, nearest to the camera. Here he is. Look. Yep, morning titan. There he is. Very fortunate he's lining up right there for us. Okay, let's head back on through uh, the tunnel. I might still be able to get to the magic corner before they ride in, I'm not sure actually. Real surprise, in fact, that uh, Titan's back already. I wasn't sadly seeing uh, Pagan still, but I think she's still up at Melton and will likely not come back to Melton. Come back, sorry, from Melton. Okay, let's get back into the yard. I think I'm just about going to be in time. That went rather well, didn't it? Very gloomy, actually, in the tunnel this morning. Exceedingly gloomy. Damn it, that guy was so big, he almost filled up the entire tunnel. Right, I don't know if I'll be allowed onto the magic corner, folks, but only one way to find out, I guess. Pretty much. Let's, let's say, morning. Is it okay to go on the corner? Yeah, thank you. Sometimes they say no, so it's like, I never know. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, if you say it's okay, it's fine with me. They've got the biggest horse this morning again. The, yeah, lifeguards have brought Titan over. Yeah, a massive one. Yeah, he's at the front, so yeah. <laughs> right, so we're on the corner. A lovely police, police lady said I can go onto the corner. Here we are. Now, I can't remember actually where the Titan will come in first. I think they normally fan out from the guards. Yeah, I think he should come through first. Let's wait and see. It is gloriously deserted here this morning. It really is wonderful to be able to run around, capture all of it, uh, and not worry about getting stuck or missing something. If we get super lucky, folks, um, I mean, I'm doubting it, because he's known to be a bit, be a bit of a naughty boy. But he has been in the box once. We did, didn't we, a few weeks ago? Got uh, got footage of Titan in the box 
That's the only time I've ever seen it, or in fact known it to have happened. At least this year. So uh, I guess that's something we could hope for. And momentarily, it's three minutes to 11. Yeah, in a minute or two they will come through. And about 30 minutes went by so fast. Just looking at the time on the uh, on the video, 30 minutes already. Like what? How on earth did that happen? Oh, she said, "Excuse me, are the other horses coming out?" Uh, and the, uh, the officer said they already did. However. Um, it's a shame that she wasn't on this side. I would have told her to wait because they're about to come back through. Obviously, people now think that they've missed the horses for the day, but they haven't. Uh, the best is yet to come. There's uh, Scarlet Tunic lifeguards uh, zooming through the tunnel, folks. Any minute. Uh, all of the officers are arriving, coming out now, so I'm pretty sure it's imminent. Very murky, isn't it, when it's like this on a Monday? It's everybody's worst, uh, worst idea of what a Monday should be, I think. Met offices at the front as well as. Uh that important for a helicopter ride over London uh, obviously I need to play uh, Wagner's Ride of the Valkyries Apocalypse Now style as I'm hanging out of the uh, of the chopper Ooh, ah. <laughs> I'm not even going to try to sing it or to, to vocalise it why because my voice uh, is like a strangled cat folks yeah you know what I mean? Like, oh, that. that glorious Wagner piece. I'm still wondering why they've closed this side of the road. It would instinctively lead me to believe that they might be expecting somebody important that needs to get into horse guards quick. Or, please fan out. It's just the oil again. It's Monday morning. You never know. Last Monday morning they were here. Right, that's the bell. So next up will be the lifeguards coming through the tunnel. Scarlet on the black gate, folks, uh, as we often see. Right, bing bong, I'm hearing the commands. A couple of horses shouting out the commands at the back, so they'll head in in just a moment. Yep, imminently. says he hopes he wishes bells ringing folks we're on time I said the king's got to do what they want so they'll come in when they're ready waiting this long after the bell in fact can't think why uh, obviously at the moment I say it we hear the clippy cloppy noises right I'm not zoomed in at all let's see this should be uh, the clearest spot is Titan first no he's not this little beauty is and two and three and four, all behaving themselves this morning. And the Corporal of Fours, which means uh, Titan will likely lead the, uh, the secondary group in. Five went in, I think, yeah? Five guys. Uh, what did I say? Twelve out there? Seven to come. 
that's, a, that's at least in theory, we'll see. Right, let me go back over to this side. Now they've finished, for the moment. Bit of time back at the front with the other horses uh, until we get more movement. Morning. I didn't see you back here for ages. Yeah, I've been on leave. Ah, yeah? Been a, uh, a couple of days training and I've been on night. Is that good or bad? Yeah. You, you look pretty... Uh... Yeah. <laughs> Especially when it's like this now. Yeah, but, yeah. I'm on there. Wait. I almost walked into that guy's face with the camera. One second. <laughs> Okay, back to the front. The troopers are about to go home and I'm sure they cannot wait. Traffic is still crazy, look. All the way along this uh, massive car park. Yikes. Really, what's the point? Anyone visiting London hoping to get from A to B, blah, 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 blah. Two options, folks, really, if you don't want to stress about the traffic. And this time of the year, I'm not going to exaggerate, Tourist season in the summer is busy, but in terms of the absolute worst time of the year to be going around from you know different points, especially if it's a Christmas lights tour, December, okay? It is a nightmare. Next month is an absolute flipping nightmare, especially if you're anywhere near Knightsbridge and Harrods. It's just, forget about it. You can spend an hour just getting past Harrods to come into the center. Yeah, it's really, really, really bad. Not only because there are a lot of uh, tour buses that are laid on for Christmas here for the Christmas lights tour, but, of course, when it's super cold, more people are in vehicles anyway. And it just ends up being chocker. Yeah, December, worst month ever. So two options that I would go for personally. One, walk everywhere, which is what I prefer to do. One, it's free. Two, it keeps me healthy. And more importantly, ideally, uh, it means you end up seeing quite a lot more than you would if you were on a tube, for example, where you see absolutely nothing. So that would be my recommendation, guys. Walk it. Failing that, the tube. Okay, why do I say that? Yes, because it's quicker to get from A to B. You know, if you're going from, say, from, from Knightsbridge, Harrods, you want to quickly zoom over and look at the uh, Christmas lights in Covent Garden, straight on uh, on the Piccadilly line, Knightsbridge, no changeovers, uh, take you to either Leicester Square Tube Station or another stop, Covent Garden. Easiest way to do it. And the same with, uh, with wanting to go into the centre, for example, wanting to go into uh, Oxford Street, Central Line or Elizabeth Line, Tottenham Court Road. Portal, Oxford Street, enjoy the lights. Huge number of uh, people turning up at this end. But again, everybody's being very cautious about getting super close to the horse. See, size does matter, folks, when it comes to horses, at least, anyway. Or so it would appear. Actually, not a French group, in fact, a Polish group here. Yep, these shoots are Polish. Well, Thumbler could be sort of slightly younger brother of, uh, of Titan, I'm thinking, actually. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah, look, he knows I'm talking about him. Somebody set this guy's uh, trainers to the floor or Keeping out for those uh, wretched pickpockets today. Uh, folks, nothing was taken from me yesterday. Um, if you listen to the audio, um, I just describe how odd it is that somebody had the, whatever you want to call them, cojones, I said yesterday, uh, to stick there. Very good, yes? Yeah, I'm good. That's very, very dapper. I know, In fact, that's a good point. You actually do look exactly like Harrison Ford when he was a young man. <laughs> Interesting. I was thinking, I was on here on the video saying, okay, I'm going to make sure I get inside when the chain goes down and then you ride out. Obviously, you had to throw the chain down super fast and they, they legged it. I kind of I got, got the, uh, the the tail end of it, as it were. But Northumberland seems a bit happy this morning. 
you know how many people have asked me when are we going to see one of our favourite troopers in the box will it ever happen do you think could do um, I've got to wait till I can ride again though yeah, yeah. But you've never actually been in the box I didn't, I didn't not one time ever so you could be super nervous, yeah? yeah? The entire three years of <laughs> Three years of no box. Oh, that, that said that you'd have to massively make sure you were immaculately presented, otherwise, this a certain. <laughs> so it's just like you know what? I'd prefer to stand the arches because they're not that way. I get my evening free. I don't need to spend it cleaning all the kit, yeah? Okay, makes sense. It makes a lot of sense. I think you will eventually, but it, it will be a funny thing though, because obviously you're going to be thinking, hold oh, on, be massive pressure as well, because you know everyone's going to be filming, etc. Nothing's fine in the box. In fact, one quick question, you in the box, obviously I won't, won't mention his name, but the troop in front of us, I don't think I've ever seen him in the arches. He's never, ever, ever been a gatesman or a gatesman, right? Okay, interesting, very interesting. Wow. So those are the two uh, potential future unknown variables, you and a horse and mm -hmm. a fine trooper here uh, in the arches. Well, do you have to walk back then because you're not... No, you're not on... I haven't provided a vehicle. Don't, don't. Oh, hold on, that doesn't happen to you, you're a captain there. Eh? Okay. Provided a vehicle. So, no, yes, uh, this is a trooper. Where is my, my, where is my transport? <laughs> Oh goodness! Hey, they provide free travel though on public transport, right? What is wrong yeah, with so a red bus? Uniform though, which we're not actually allowed to go out in uniform. Seriously, wait, you have to be in uniform to be able to use free travel? Yeah. Okay, I didn't actually know that. But technically, we shouldn't actually have free Wait, travel. but hold on a second. I've been on the bus with, uh, I would say, but a certain Fijian in the lifeguards who was in his rugby kit. Yeah, so you can get away with it on the bus. A lot of times, it's easy to get away with it on the bus. Yeah. The only reason the free travel kit. Bits. Makes sense. Yeah, makes a lot of sense. Kind of stuff them. Really, really to I said, how many bus drivers are going to be like, hey, you know, army guy, you're not getting on my bus, they're just not going to say it, are they? Really? So, don't want to Yeah. Yeah. I your hand in over yesterday's good news. Yeah. Seriously, I mean, that is really good news. Really, really, really good news. We shall see what happens over here. Nine months from now, we're going to look, you're going to have those black rings in your eyes, I tell you. I've been there, wait for it. If you make a ghost like that, it's going to come out with a twisted weird converse. Don't jinx it, seriously. Hence the dancing face. See you later. What happened? Did you see this one With a girl. Oh, wait, is it? Oh, it's a guy that's with him, with a white hat. Yeah, it's a good deal. Can you, can you post that on the group, this picture? Did you put it on the uh, group already? Yeah, Morning, Michelle. Yeah, yeah. Miles away. No, yeah. Yeah, put that on there. Because, yeah. in fact, I think he's very noticeable. He looks like he, he could be the brother or related to the woman that was here yesterday. It's look like a, yeah, it's look like a brother. Because, yeah. not, because the, the woman is like old already. Yeah, they look like they're inbred anyway. So, yeah, put that on the on the group, and that way we can all keep an eye out for them. That's the subject of the, in the front of the guy. Somebody um, sent me a couple of screenshots yesterday by emails from my own video saying that it was very clear they didn't look back and they wouldn't have looked back both of them that way when they went across the road unless they were guilty they just wouldn't have done it so yeah so they're not, they're not the same the, the one you posted to get that no but I think they're members of the maybe same group maybe they're different people yeah. maybe they're different uh, you know either way it's just so out of order I'm just like ah that said to be honest I think I probably got a little bit too distracted after that when uh, when Andrew arrived so <laughs> it's my own fault Never mind. Right, folks, uh, I'm still here. Uh, just talking with some of the other people that filmed here. And obviously, guys, we missed it because of you two. I can't believe it. Look at this. See, look, we're not even being allowed through. Actually, wait, wait, we didn't miss it. Wait, 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 wait. They're changing the boxman, folks. Now, the question at this moment is, they send all the other end. Ah, this end. Northumberland end. It's because he's a beauty. Yes, you are. Look, I cannot wait to go home. He's like, yes. Almost time. Oh. Yeah, the group are not quite understanding what that means, but never mind. Oh, good. Beauty is coming in. Oh, this one doesn't want to work. Look. He's like, no, I don't want to go in there.
really thought he was going to kick off there. And the Blues, ladies and gents, are off. Oh, who's this pretty horse? That's the number, yeah, on the hoop, 136. 136, could well be a new entry, actually. Um, my money would also be on this being a mare, but actually, wait, maybe not. Scout, skip that. I'm going to stop going with my instinct, look. Definite Monday Blues, this horse. Yawning's like, ah. Oh. back into the yard, uh, which I'm going to head to in a minute, we'll get the rest of the blues leaving and then the rest of the lifeguards arriving and of course, ideally, if I can, I'd like to capture Glorious Titan, folks, uh, as he comes through the tunnel. Now, I do remember this glorious beauty, oh yes, hello to you. Folks, we know who this is, don't we? Yes, we do. Uh, I'm going to give you a clue. Uh, you, a lot of you will know it immediately. Uh, this horse's name begins with I, okay? And it is the only horse. He is the only horse that looks like this, okay? Much as Q10 is an enormous, glorious, unique beauty, uh, this horse, very much the same, for obvious reasons. That's right, guys, it's the XHCAV coach horse, the only one that is on active duty with the lifeguards. Real beauty, eh? Uh, and his name begins with I. Yep, I. Okay, heading in because lifeguards just popped into the tunnel. So we're gonna walk behind everyone that's here and see what happens when the, when the new gatesman emerges from the tunnel. It's all a little bit sort of chaotic. People are sort of all over the place this morning. I don't think he's going to have a problem getting in because there's no massive line here uh, obstructing his path. Great to see that horse back. I was just about to say his name then, but I bet a lot of you know anyway which horse I'm talking about. Okay, corporal of horse at the back. Oh, obviously this guy had to stop right in front of me, what a surprise. Magic gate opened all by itself. Wow, talk about timing, eh? Look at that, right on the bell. Spot on. Brilliant. Good stuff, boys. Lovely. Right, here comes the lifeguard that's in the tunnel. Uh, at which point I need to get way back out of the people's way. Way back. There we are. Officer making sure that no one's even close to being in his way, the trooper here. there for a good amount of time. Again folks, it's going to vary because we still don't know because they decide their own rules pretty much ad hoc uh, if they're going to do odd or even hours. So the, the guard that just went in, there's the gatesman there a moment ago, he might well only be here for another, what's the time? 11.30? Is it now? 11.16, sorry. He might only be in there for another 44 minutes. Oh, the, oh, it is a real pity that I missed. Oh, hold on a second guys. Someone I know very well, uh, a stableman, or so it would seem. I had no idea he was stableman today. I'll try and have a chat with him when he's out and about a bit later. First time I've actually seen that trooper uh, as a lifeguard stableman. That's a big surprise. Okay, so everyone's kind of milling because what happens next? The only thing that still needs to happen is for those last blues, the blues boxman that came off, to leave. Uh, that will be happening 
11.16, the latest they'll be leaving is half 11-ish, give or take, 11, 11.35 maybe. Uh, so the best option right now uh, is to go back to the front. I mean, I guess in the whole of London, there are worse places, aren't there, to get, uh, get stuck on a bus. Look at this. They are right opposite that lifeguard horse that just came on. It's starting to spit a teeny bit. Um, it's not actually raining yet, but people are putting their umbrellas up. Don't know why. Teeny, teeny, teeny bit of moisture. Uh, pink and white bubble hats. I don't think they'll be back on a Monday though. It's not busy enough for them to get into a you know, really thick crowd and start ins inserting their greasy little uh, thieving hands into people's pockets. That's what he says <laughs> before he fills a hand in his pocket. I think to be honest they're probably going to be targeting obviously weekend daytimes uh, but end of day inspections I would think as well that's the other time when it's quite chocker in the yard uh, and easy for somebody with nefarious intent to uh, to be a little teeny bit naughty I hope I'm wrong but <clears throat> at least now not only myself but all the other people that record and stream here police and the military everybody has seen uh, seen those clowns they know who they are now They got lulled into a full sense of security by uh, being spoken to but not having been arrested. Uh, the reason they weren't arrested is that even though we all knew what they were doing, they didn't actually have anything on them when this police spoke to them. Uh, so what I mean, what can they do? Again, you know, you, you know that there's intent, but uh, if no offence has been committed, they can't be uh, arrested, detained and charged. Which is a little bit unfortunate, but don't worry, I'm already thinking of a practical workaround for that problem. Maybe thing is to get an ID and find out who they are first. Oh, yep, well done chap, don't worry about the camera. <laughs> All good. At least some people are making the effort to go up to the horses. Uh, there will only be a part two this morning guys, if one it doesn't rain, uh, that's the most important factor because it's a pain. Uh, to be this mobile when it's raining um, and two it will depend on what happens after the guard change at the palace is finished if we get the usual Monday torrent uh, I might make a part two um, if I don't make a part two uh, then there's a good reason for it as you I'm sure having seen two parts yesterday uh, are already well aware and actually folks I didn't yesterday evening I was at yesterday evening I apologize for not uh, responding to any of your comments. I do like to not only read what you've written, but more importantly, I like to try and answer pertinent questions. One, because often I don't know the answer to my, you know, to, to, to questions that I have or to things that I'm reading that you've written. So I like to read it, and if there are things that I don't know the answer to either, I will then obviously try and ask one of the troopers uh, or send a message to somebody to ask, hey, you know, what, uh, what's the correct answer to this question? So apologies guys, uh, yesterday's videos didn't get any any two-way from me. Just didn't have the time last night to to respond to the comments. I'll try and do that this afternoon actually. Uh, once I finish here today, and again I have no idea if it will be this part or another part, I will fortunately uh, have most, not all, but most of the rest of the day off today, uh, which I'm exceedingly happy about uh, because I was out Friday, Saturday and Sunday uh, and then today, of course, is day four in a row. Rare for me, actually, to do four days. But I think tomorrow, I'm not sure 100%, but I think tomorrow uh, I will be out of London for the day. And if I am, obviously, that means a day off as well. So I might have this afternoon off. And tomorrow, yes, amazing, lucky me, woo! Okay, the Blues are on horseback. I think they're probably just waiting one of their colleagues, maybe one or two of their colleagues, to finish up before they ride out. There is a stableman, uh, talking to the troop at the front a little earlier in the video as you heard, uh, the stableman uh, is making his own way back uh, to Knightsbridge this morning. 
Okay, they're lining up. They're going to be up imminently. Just going to get on the corner, folks. Best spot. One minute. Okay. Right, so let's take his pictures. Here we are. The key spot. Oh, right, right on time. Look at that. Lifeguard troopers heaving the uh, the gates open for the blues. This guy on his phone is going to be told to move. <laughs> right, here we go. Goodbye, beauties. He's back. See ya. Back soon. If you are a trooper or the stableman uh, or somebody that forgot their horse, uh, there's only one other option to get back to uh, Hyde Park, guys, and that's it. Yep. What is that option? Yomping. Yeah. Uh, they are definitely, I've recognised them, Blues and Royals. So they're going to walk back behind the troop. Not a far, long walk. It takes roughly, let me think. If they're walking at a very, very brisk pace, here to Hyde Park, 30 minutes tops, yeah, between 20 and 30 minutes uh, would be my guess. If they really pick up a pace or the horses are at a slow trot and the troopers are yomping it behind 20 minutes, if not about 30-ish. It's not that far, it's probably, let me think, it's, it's under two miles, I know that, I don't know precisely, one and a half, 1.75, it's definitely under two miles from exactly where I'm standing now to the yard at Hyde Park Barracks in Knightsbridge. So, not, not a bad journey at all. I could do it, uh, even at my slightly advanced stage in life, uh, in less, less than 30 minutes, easy. I think I could probably do it in 20 if I, I push. Uh, on a non-humid day, for me, humidity is always the killer. I've got tons of energy when the humidity is low, but high humidity, I'm just like, Ugh. I think maybe there was a very brief shower a few minutes ago because lots of people got their umbrellas out, but it's not raining, it's not even spitting. Very sort of miscellaneous group. Can't decide what they're doing. Right. Here we are. Umbrellas at the ready, folks. Even though they're not needed. And the horse, who uh, I'm still not going to name, even though we know his name begins with I, uh, just couldn't care less. Look. The single most chilled horse in the entire. That's all cavalry mounted division. Mounted regiment, apologies. It's a regiment, not division. So no one ever knows what to do with an umbrella. It's super funny. Do I get pictures with the umbrella? Do I throw it on the floor? Like, what do I do? You glance lovingly at the guard before you take that shot. Notice the horses, like which, which tourists? I can't even see anyone. It's okay, no, it's okay. <laughs> I still can't understand why everyone's got an umbrella. It's not, it's not raining now, the rain stopped. Oh, you don't speak English? That's uh, Spanish. Ah, oh, there's no rain. Like, oh. <laughs> you didn't. It stopped. <laughs> Me? No, I'm, I've heard of that guy. Apparently, he's a bit of an asshole. I've been told. So, no, I, I don't. I don't know who he is. Yeah. No, it actually isn't. I'm joking. <laughs> you thought I was being serious. You're like, wait, actually, yeah, he he sounds like an asshole. What's the look on your face? Oh, I have. Actually, it's funny, I have um, a couple of times. Um, there's a very big um, US TikToker called NYCKB. He and I did like a little duo in the yard together, two camera. But it's kind of like, it's yeah, it's from the summer. So everyone's kind of like, oh, you know, show your face. I'm like, what for? 
I'm not the content for the channel. These guys are. I wouldn't have known about them if it weren't for you. So oh, look I at you. You're being, you're being I, super I really nice. I really <laughs> Seriously, you didn't know so much about them? No, really? And you talk so much about, you know, the changing and, and you know, make sure you stay out of the way. Where are you from? I'm from Washington, D.C. I'm shocked. I thought that pretty much everyone in the U.S. was kind of aware that we had, you know, the, the guards that look after the royals here. I think we were aware, but maybe not the exact location and exactly what happened. Or oh, its significance, yeah. The significance and all that. Yeah, it makes sense. It makes sense. crazy things that happen here sometimes. Oh, yeah, they certainly do. Do you want to be in today's video? Yeah? Go for it. What's your name? Susan. Susan. Nice to meet you, Susan. Nice to meet you. Okay, guys, Susan from Washington, D.C. <laughs> is in the video. Here she is. She's going to share her video with uh, this other girl who's giving you a dirty look. Now we're going. Brilliant. Well done, Susan. Guys, let's really hope that God doesn't decide to make an example of Susan there. <laughs> I was, I was, my heart was beating uh, fast because I thought, what if the God decides to make an example of Susan <laughs> for no reason other than he's in a bad mood? <laughs> You'd have jumped, wouldn't you, Matthew? Really shouted at you. Ah. This is a really good horse though. This um, is the only horse that used to be in um, a carriage horse. He used to have one of the carriages. Uh, this way he's got this sort of very regal stature compared to all the others that are a bit clocky and, and, and uh, you know, more heavily built. Uh, Indigo, this horse. I actually didn't name him earlier because I said to everybody, guys, try and remember which horse it is, but I would just ruin my own video. <laughs> but they're gonna have to watch to an hour and one minute for the horse name reveal, folks. So uh, there it is, yeah, the glorious Indigo. How long are you here for? I leave today. You leave today? I was here yesterday. Ah, it's so curious. I was here yesterday, but only um, in the first part of the day. And yesterday I met a lady who also said, I've been here for a while, but I'm leaving tomorrow. A yeah. lady from Mexico yesterday, I'm meeting you today from Washington. And you're leaving today. imminently. So you're out of here today. Wow. I'm visiting with friends in my, I'm sort of on their itinerary. So I just got to away yesterday morning. How long was the trip? How long did you have? We came on uh, Wednesday. That's Tuesday, we got here Wednesday. Okay, that's not so bad. Jet lag wasn't reasonable, yeah? Yeah, I've been powering the way. Really? Yeah. We only had like a couple of whole days. Yeah. And there was a lot to see, isn't there? In four or five days. Yeah. No, but I mean, yesterday was... Yeah, exactly. Yesterday was a beautiful day, wasn't it? It was so, so nice to be out of that. So you, you chose a good time because normally this time it's either freezing and or raining. So you, you got pretty lucky. Yeah. It makes such a difference because it takes so much longer to get around and do everything when you're constantly worrying about umbrellas and you're keeping dry and warm. So your, your timing was, yeah, yeah. I've got four layers on to make myself. The only way to keep warm. Well, anyway, uh, this will drop. Pleasure. Nice to uh, this will be on at some point this afternoon tonight uh, with you in it because I never I never edit them I just put them straight up and raw whatever happens so yeah yeah do but download it to your iPad or laptop and you've got it <laughs> you can comment if you want you're welcome oh look first guard doing his rounds this morning as well no one's going to get showered at guys I was tempted to go and t to tell Susan to stand right in front of the middle gates because that's where the toys typically stand but I thought I won't do it to her because I'm not a meanie. Uh, but anyway, have a, have a safe trip back Thank here. You. It was really nice to meet you. you My pleasure. Thank you. Okay guys, let's go over uh, and see what happens now. So lovely Susan. Thank you for coming to say hi. Uh, and I'm super glad that Susan agreed to be in the video as well. Uh, the guy in the uh, black jacket, just on my right in the frame, uh, almost got owned a minute ago. Let's see how quickly he decides to move out the way or not. Look. Oh. He's getting pretty fast. <laughs> Look, he's bruising. Ta -da. And there we are, ladies and gents. Uh, perfect morning, pretty much. Beautiful horses, of course. Now we've got Indigo. I can drop his name again. Uh, I'm, I'm sure that you know you regulars would have known immediately. There's no other horse that is even remotely close to that unique look of Indigo. He's back in the arch, and there we have it, folks. Uh, I hope fully we'll be back in part two. If not, I'll be back real soon. Thanks for watching, guys. See you soon.